Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. So we open with Garcelle having a fabulous brunch. Ooh, it looks like a shopping party. All these are meds. So she gonna get her first Birkin. I want a Birkin, but I need one of those big ones. Oh, and Kyle's hosting an event for the Princess Grace of Monaco found day day. Ooh, Garcelle is giving cat soup. Ooh, Lord, Renna, this is very 90s. And we saw your whole coochie getting out that car. Kyle saw them bags and ran in like supermarket sweet. And her Birkin is 60 grand. I love how Sutton said, if you like the yellow, get the yellow. It's 15 grand, what the hell? Then you pay for it. Kyle, you didn't stick up for your sister. You could have nipped it in the bud and said, hey, leave Kathy alone. But you let her ride. See, your shit's starting, heifer. So Sutton was talking to some guy, and then he blocked her in the middle of the conversation. And she said he must have gotten busted by a girlfriend or a wife. Nah, I think he just wasn't interested. I mean, you are not letting this go, Renna. But at least she's making the season finish with a flourish, because Sutton carried the first 10 episodes on her back. Kyle said, I done moved on. I ain't trying to F up the family again. So Kyle and Renna go in the kitchen and Renna's still saying, I hope she gets the help that she needs. It's nighttime and everybody on their way to the event. And child, Renna is amping everything up about this Kathy meltdown. The way Erica said, oh, that's how we feel too, boo-boo. I would definitely want some of this stupid jewelry. Like $3 million, that million dollar 52 carat ring, yes, Sold. Oh, the morally bankrupt Faye Resnick is here. Oh, oh, Diana. Looking like a cheap Jessica Rabbit. So Kathy ain't going. She's taking a Pasadena. Oh my goodness, Kempire is on Real Housewives the finale. Congratulations. Kyle's telling Crystal, I'm just so tired of Rena always bringing it up. My children will get hurt. My children. Erica and Renna show up to the party, and ooh, Erica, you couldn't get a dress that fit you that, po? That necklace Kyle has on is stunning, though. However, Kyle knows that the story about Kathy was leaked, leaked. And it seems that Erica and Renna are the ones fueling this fire to keep the spotlight off Erica. Because now we're talking about Kathy. But, I mean, Kathy must have done something. Why'd they let Erica try some earrings on? You know she ain't giving them back. Kyle, you know good and damn well we ain't dropping what's happened in Aspen to have a good, relaxing evening. This is the last episode of the show, dummy. Renna is starting her shit already when she said, I'm going to have a vodka and you can make it a double. Oh, no one's ordering Kathy's tequila. So now we got our little charity speech. I don't know why they have to get the morally bankrupt Faye Resnick in the shot. And who told her to wear that tacky dress? It's very school mom. Thinking she doing something at a parent-teacher conference. Renna, you look terrible. The extensions are too long and the dress is too much fabric. That's a young woman's look. On you, it gives mummy. Ooh, look at Asher's ruby slippers. A nod to him being a friend of Dolther. The chip heifer forgot her husband was there because he ain't buying nothing. This food looks delicious. Bone apple too. Kyle sat next to Garcelle at dinner and she asked if she's talked to Kathy and Garcelle said yes and she's furious because everyone's running with this story behind her back. Garcelle said, why did Kathy apologize to Renna? That's what I want to know. Now Garcelle, don't say oh Kyle because Kyle is playing both sides of the fence. She let Renna grill Kathy and grind the broken glass in her hand in her house. Kyle let it happen. Kyle could have snapped on Renna and said, look, this is my sister, shut it down. She didn't say anything about you, did she? Okay, let it go. I've let it go, you let it go. This is my sister and we have to move on. But Kyle didn't say nothing. Kyle let Renna hurt her sister and she's not upset that her sister's in the hot seat. And Kyle loves to play victim. I'm sure this gets her twat to twitching. Oh goodness, 
across the table, Rena and Erica are like, I guarantee Kyle and Garcelle are coming for us. Yeah, because y'all are shit stirrers. If it was sanitary, I'd get my toilet wand. Garcelle says, but this is clearly a distraction from Erica. Oh, hell no, they out there without a heater? The girls run over to the lone heater by the pool and 62 degrees is chilly in California. One, you get acclimatized to it and two, our 68 is like a dry, chilly 68. Like at night, it's cold. In the shade, it's cold. California sun is warm. If you ain't in the sun, you, you chilly. LA is not hot in February. Garcelle asked Sutton, why did Kathy apologize to Renna? Garcelle said, since I'm out of the loop on what happened in Aspen, I want to know why Kathy had to apologize to you, Renna. God, now Renna said, I did not need anything from Kathy. Ooh, she's getting ready to play her game. Garcelle, I don't like this green lipstick. I'm sorry, girl. It's like you ate some candy. Garcelle said, and since she apologized, we should let it go. Who's not letting it go? Why are you saying that? You've got an attitude. Garcelle said, well, it seems like we're just throwing Kathy under the bus so we don't have to talk about Erica. And Erica said, look, I've owned my ish, so Kathy gonna have to own hers. Kyle said, look, I want everybody at my daughter's wedding. I, I don't need no more family drama. We need to drop it with a tear. All right, actress, come on. And then Rena said, but we can't just sweep this under the rug. Garcelle said, well, she wants to, so get your broom, heifer. Oh my God, Rena said, I can't take it to my grave because I'd get sick and get cancer if I don't express this. Oh, kick her out. I would kick her out right then, right there. I'm sorry, you have a case of the dramas and you've got to go home. Somebody fire alarm going off. Oh, and I hear fire trucks. Kathy was saying things that could ruin people's lives forever. It was so vile. So vile. If it was so vile, then why dwell on it? Erica says, for a year I've been pummeled, so I want Kathy held responsible for her bad behavior in front of all of us in a public place. Kyle said, look, you're only punishing me. No, your sister's punishing you. Actually, they're right. So Kyle runs to piss and the chip heifer runs after her. Kyle says, it's very odd that everything's been leaked to the press. Who's squawking and who's talking? So as Kyle and the chip heifer leave the pisser, the morally bankrupt Faye Resnick comes in. Why does she have to be on camera? I can smell her through the screen. So some articles about Kathy were squashed because lawyers got involved. Sutton Strack, if you don't shut up, why are you inserting yourself like a tampon into other people's business? This is why no one likes you. Oh my goodness, do I have to do this myself? Did either of you leak stories to the press about Katha Hilton? Did either of you do that? Murder lurkle ass. Who else has realized Sutton Strack is the white Myrtle Urkel? Who else has come to that realization? Because it is a universal truth. Erica says, I don't know how to do that. Ooh, so Kyle says, actually, Kathy did an investigate, Erica, and it was your publicist. So you really trying to go up against Kathy Hilton, Erica? You just 50 and stupid. Oh, Erica, you're such a shitty liar. You're a shitty being and a shitty liar. My publicist did that? Well, then you should move with what you have. So because the story was crossed, Kyle really don't have any evidence, and Rena and Erica are like, well, where's the proof? If it was a play-by-play, -play, why wasn't it printed? But I believe it was them. And I believe Kathy put out the cease and desist to shut it up. Erica, you're very two-faced it. On one hand, you're saying, why can't Kathy take responsibility for her behavior? But then you say, why would I cook something up about someone else to take the spotlight off me? because you're tired of being chewed up and spit out by life and the heifers. <laughs> Erica said, Kai, I love your sister, but your sister ain't well known enough to take the distraction off Erica. Ain't nothing taking the distraction off this. I, I'm New York Times famous, honey. 
The chip ref has said you should have never brought this up, Kyle. You know Kyle was itching too. So Erica and Rena head on home. All right, well, that was the shit. That was the shit. I can't wait for the Ryu you. Oh, and thank God we won't have to look at miserable Diana. Yay, Garcelle got the yellow Birkin. All right, well, let's get to Salt Lake Shitty.